brainchild of the industry, uh, the union and the master plumbers about four years ago. Um, we're in the middle of a drought and the state government um, challenged us on, the, on training the workforce in delivering much more water efficiencies. It's a great facility for people to come and look and find out what types of systems are new cutting edge that they can either use in their commercial environment or in their domestic and residential type environments. We've got ideas on energy efficiency from other centres around the world um, but there's a lot of the activities here do lead the world. I was very impressed when I first came here. I've been in the game a long time because plumbing's very diversified now. The different sections, your heating and ventilating, your fire, fire protection, sanitary plumbing, roofing, whereas this place covers the lot. There's no exemptions. The reality is, in the last five years, the, there's been a revolution in plumbing because of water efficiency and energy efficiency. So there's been more changes in the last five years from the manufacturers and what we install than what's been in the last 100 years. We're basically embracing the, the you know, the, uh, transformation of information between um, well, the water technology that you have over here is so far advanced to uh, what we do in America and, and by the same token we can help with some of the advancements that we've made with the HVAC and refrigeration industry. If you look at a commercial building, air conditioning uh, is the biggest single consumer of electricity in the building at about 50% of the total electricity that goes. And so therefore it's important that the plant and equipment operate as efficiently as possible if you're going to reduce energy consumption. A very high proportion of the energy used in a domestic house is creation of hot water or heating and the new technologies uh, can have a, a very significant impact on that, probably a 70% uh, saving. The ground source heat pumps like the one we have here at PICAC uh, will typically save a residence up to 80%, anywhere up to 80% of their energy usage for their reverse cycle heating and cooling or their hot water, produ uh, hot water production costs. What we're demonstrating here is the ability to use the sun's energy stored in the surface of the earth, uh, which enables us to produce systems that are scalable down to small sizes, so individual homes and residences can utilise um, this, this energy that's constantly stored in the surface of the earth. Nowhere else offers the training that we offer, and especially for free. So your union membership guarantees you unlimited training. I've done a few courses here. I've done uh, working at heights. I have done my first aid level two, my welding, DOI, which I'm still doing that as we speak. Uh, my boom, my scissor, my forklift. The centre offers just a unique opportunity in the different classes over a wide range of, of topics. From, um, from pumps to solar hot water to green plumbing to advanced subjects that you need for accreditation with the plumbing industry. We're here at PICAC doing a green plumbers course. Uh, we're all plumbing teachers and the reason we're here is uh, part of a professional development um, program to upgrade our skills so that we can then take those skills back to the apprentices in our different institutes. I think on my courses there was another training manager, there were um, some industrial officers from the union, there were some plumbers, there were some gas fitters, um, there was a plumber who'd been a nurse for 20 years and turned herself into a plumber and she was enjoying it much more. Seeing all the details that they've gone to and, 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 and the lengths that they've gone with the technology that they put in here and, and what's available and actually have working units that you can bring folks in and you don't just tell them conceptually about it or read it in a book, you actually can come and stand in front of it and they'll operate it for you and you can see for yourself, feel for yourself, it actually working. Well the training that the centre provides gives you a commercial advantage and uh, that's why we um, originally started a, a Green Plumber training program. People were ringing up um, wanting advice about uh, solar hot water heating, about energy efficient heating, 
about rainwater tanks. We're seeing plumbing systems now that are offering more than 30% additional plumbing going into projects because of green and climate industry position plumbing techniques with the use of solar, stormwater harvesting, grey water, black water. So in essentially the increased, um, increased project value has increased by an additional 30% over the time because of the use of the additional plumbing systems. We've got a big push on training the boys with gas because well, the gas and fuel, when they're in an identity in their own, and they produce some of the best gas fitters in Australia. Well, they no longer exist. It's all subcontracted out, the apprenticeships have been let go. Well, we're trying to make up for that here. And not just in the gas fitting, in every aspect of the trade. Making the best we possibly can. We can supply the best labour then. The best labour gives the best result. But one of the big advantages is that this is a joint project between the Union and the Master Plumbers Association. This was a gamble. This is our members' money. What, what's happened out here, the proof is in the pudding. I'm more than happy with the investment. I'm proud to say that it's, um, it, it's, for, it's a first-class training unit. And uh, I doubt whether there'd be one of our members who would think otherwise. We're very fortunate to have the, uh, uh, the PIC, the, uh, the regulating group that, uh, uh, that works together with the plumbing industry and PICAC and, and all. Uh, that's not something that is readily done in America or in the States. It's, um, it's unique and I wish I could take it back and reproduce it to be quite honest with you. I don't think there's any one better place rather than plumbers to advise householders and commercial owners about how to conserve water, how to implement uh, st strategies to minimise their use in their buildings. Their role um, in the future should be as an advisor as well as a, a doer, so explaining to people how to go about um, you know, saving energy, saving water, you know, what's the best solution for them? It's not the, the real heavy yards it used to be, you know, it's a change game. There's no doubt today's plumber has become a mainstream green plumber. We're just trying to, trying to do our bit for the community and also the environment. I am today's plumber, I trained at Pycake. I am today's plumber and I trained at Pycake. I am today's plumber, I trained at Pycake. I'm today's plumber and I trained at Pycake.